Okay, here we are back in Pokemon Scarlet. So we're about to tackle the Grass Gym. I'm putting Charcadet in front, and then I am going to put Watchroll second. Ideally, this would be the order of effectiveness here, because he'll burn everything. This can fly from above. Potentially could poison. Worst come to worst, can throw stuff around with fighting moves, and then I'm flying onto dark moves there. So I haven't really explored this place much. There could be stuff in the back alley, so you gotta keep your eyes peeled. Right now I'm just looking to see if there's like any items to pick up, because I do need held items for my guys. No, we just walked in front of the gym on accident. So I will be going around to look at the back of it before we go in there, and that's the stupid challenge right in front of us in that corner. Well, right there. So I thought he was supposed to be the first gym leader. Apparently we're going to be tackling him second. I don't know if Gimme Ghoul can appear here or not, but I guess we'll just tackle the challenge. No point in leaving you guys in suspense, you know? Uh-oh. Via Hero! So wild that we end up randomly visiting the same gym at the same time again. It's almost like you're stalking me or something. What a weird coincidence. I swear I'm not just sneaking ahead of you so I can lie in wait and go, Oh, wow, weird, that might as well battle now that you're here. No, seriously, look, to prove it, I won't even challenge you to a battle this time. Much as I'd like to. But look at you and your Pokémon, they've definitely gotten stronger since last time. And add these to the mix and you'll be 100% set to go, no problem. Three ethers. I'll be cheering for you. I'll go train, like, maybe 20 Pokémon or so while you tackle the gym. As long as she's got the candy, she can do it real fast. I've noticed. There are lots of students passing through here these days. Has the treasure hunt started? My poor Quaxley. When I took on this gym with my Quaxley, I got destroyed by one with my Growlithe, right? So that's your warning. Bring a fire type, or make sure Quaxley knows, Quaxley knows flying moves. Welcome to the Artisan Gym. The name of the game is Hide and Seek, so just to warn you. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Hero, yes? Great, now in order to face the gym leader, Brassius, you need to first pass the gym test. Here at the Artisan Gym, that means completing the game of Sunflower Hide and Seek. As you may know, Artisan is a city of artists. The artwork made by the people here is largely inspired by nature and the sun that nurtures it. Since Sunflower embody these concepts, we try to gather them and take good care of them. Your job today is to find the Sunflower located throughout Artisan. Remember, these Pokémon look like sun-shaped flowers. Gather up ten of them, bring them to the Sunflower Lawn, and you pass the test. I'll register the Sunflower Lawn's location in your map after you get started. When you leave the gym, turn right, and you'll see two large sunflower statues. Head for those. Once you're at the lawn's entrance, the staff are there will tell you more about the gym test. Get out there and have fun. So if you thought the frame rate was bad before, just wait till you get a load of this. This is the one that people keep talking about, which is why I know that's hide-and-seek. <laughs> so when we have these ten sunflower flowing behind us, we're going to be looking at maybe ten frames a second. Hi there, look after the Ars and Jim Sunflower. Hope you're ready. It's time for a game of Sunflower Hide and Seek. I'll go ahead and ask the Sunflower to spread themselves out around town. Sounds like Sunflower ready for you. With that, your gym test has begun. Once you found 10 Sunflower, bring them here to the lawn. That's all for me. Good luck out there. Come on. camera here is not my friend. So I was curious if there was anything hidden in there, but I'm not seeing anything. Come on, show us those animations. Just one of 
the shine the Pokeball. In all seriousness, I have no idea how this got passed through QAQC because this should have been a red flag. In case you're wondering what the difficulty here is, Sun Floor is the evolved form of Sun Current that you saw bouncing in the background a little while ago. By being an evolution, it has higher stats. You just have to give Sun Current a Sunstone, I think, to get it to evolve. Sun Floor, I want to say, is a Gen 2 Pokémon, but I don't think it was ever really any good. It has Chlorophyll, potentially. Just can't do anything with it. Hey, there's the Sunstone. So I'm trying not to look at them just yet. This one wants to fight too. This one may just be squishier than the other one. It deals less damage. Was the other one level 14 or level 12? I don't know, maybe this gym test was Game Freak acknowledging, yeah, this game's a mess, may as well have fun with it. Okay, we're up to nine. Look at those animations. So yeah, it looks like there's more than 10 out here, it's just which 10 do you find? Well done, find all these sunflower. You passed the gym test of flying colors. Head back to the lobby to report your results. So I'll make sure there's anything up there. It looks so suspicious I can't help but wanting to check and double check. Center.
and I need to take a break before we actually do the gym, so... See you guys in a moment. Okay, let's go tackle the gym, shall we? So, Charcadet is 18. I don't know if this guy is 20 or what exactly, but we're about to find out. Seems you successfully gathered 10 Sunfloor and brought them over to the Sunfloor lawn. That means you cleared the gym test. Congratulations, I'd prefer to have fought trainers, personally. Are you ready to challenge Brassius, the Verdant Virtuoso? So I was wondering if his name was based off of Brassica, which is the genus for canola oil. Well, the canola plant that's used for canola oil. Very well, let me show you to the battle court. Because otherwise, brass kind of makes me think of the metal, like an instrument, which would be more like a steel-type name, I figure, so... Unless there's some other use of Brassius that I don't recognize. It could be another, like, plant genus or something. <laughs> Greetings, Challenger. And that's how he broke his leg. You did well to come this far. I am Brassius, an artist specializing in grass-type Pokémon. I'm also the gym leader here at the Artisan Gym. I was observing your gym test from atop the windmill, you know. The perception you displayed in finding Sunflower was truly... Oh, how shall I describe it? Yes, it was truly avant-garde. I only pray that you might demonstrate that eye for beauty in our battle as well. Enough talk, we must begin creating a collaborative work of art. I trust that you're ready. It's time for our masterpiece to take shape. You're challenged by Jimmy DeBrassius. It's also a little weird he has a whip instead of like a conductor's rod. It could be a stick or something, but it is what it is, I guess. Art is creation and destruction. Struggle, else your Pokemon, your defeat will nourish my Pokemon. So he looks to be around level 15 or so. I'm just going to try to one-shot it. His ace is a pseudo Wudo, in case you're wondering. Because of the rock type that it has, it's going to be able to hit me for super effective damage, but that would apply if I were using a flying type as well. One-shot. Since that's an unevolved Pokemon, I figured I could probably do it in one. I haven't bought Charcoal or anything yet, but I probably should look into it. Venonet wants Psybeam, so we can get rid of Confusion. Attack? What? No! That's why you don't let the bug choose, man. Smala of the evolved form. Or no, this is still a baby form. It's still level 16, so we'll fire off an ember and pray for the best. I remember I need to remember to change their names after this battle. I found out you don't have to talk to a rename or you can actually do it in the menu. And Suda Wudo the Ace, we just hit level 19. This has promised, yes. Let us lead this artistic endeavor to its conclusion at once. Allow me to touch this work up slightly and call it Truly Wudo. Truly Wudo, I guess. Now, Pseudo Wudo is not exactly a fast Pokemon, so. I don't know how it compares to Charcadet, apparently not well. And apparently I fl fully freaking missed. At times, R becomes a race against the clock. Let us increase the pace. Okay, so that's the annoying move. That's a really cool grass move. So, it's basically Flare Blitz, but for grass Pokemon. And here's the Rock Throw that I was anticipating the entire time. So, missing that Fire Spin is what's put me in a pretty bad spot. So 
So you have to remember Venonat is weak to rock as well. Wow. Good night. a little bit of weight to it, but it may resist. Nope. In all seriousness, I really don't care about Trailblaze. Okay, that hit Mankey a lot harder than I thought it would have. So he should be faster than me now. It's gonna be up to the cat to save us. So I was thinking about honing claws, but I don't think I'm going to have the time. Yeah, I need to hone claws here. As long as it's not a crit. Let's see if I could have picked it off without the super potion. Oh yeah, I could have. So it's interesting I missed the fire spin, but he never missed a single rock throw. Even though rock moves have atrocious accuracy. Avant-garde. What artistic tactics you employ? The patterns of your moves, the minute details of your Pokémon's performance, everything you did was honed to perfection. Our battle was in a word art indeed. If we could not call that a work of artistry, then nothing else in the world could be labeled as such. If I were to judge your work, I would say it passes my inspection. Yes, it passed without exception. As proof of your artistic prowess, you may have my gym badge. Shall we take a photo as well? I'll pass. There he goes, photobomb me in the windmill. If you possess two gym badges, it will be easier to catch Pokémon of up to level 30, and those Pokémon should follow your commands as well. Two fantastic trainers such as yourself, I would also like to offer this a favor to mine. Trailblaze. So right here they tell you, it's like leaping out of tall grass, boosts your speed stat. My inspiration is overflowing, as I've drawn from a bottomless well. I will begin on a new piece at once, you must excuse me, farewell. So I was thinking about using that on the cat, but then I found out we get Seed Bomb really early, and Seed Bomb is ridiculously strong. Trailblaze is only like 50 or 60 power, I think. Pardon me, would you be the hero I've been hearing so much about? Nimona had mentioned there was a promising new face in the Academy, yes indeed. But I do apologize, I didn't mean to startle you by addressing you so suddenly. My name is Hassel, I'm one of the Elite Four of the Pokémon League. I also teach art classes at the Academy. So tell me, young hero, what compels you to collect these gym badges and try to be a champion? My friend asked me to. I asked and answered. Thank you. Naturally, there's no single correct answer. All paths lead to the great creator of Paldea, as they say. You know, your friend Nimona is the youngest to achieve champion rank in all Paldean history. It is entirely possible that such great potential lies within you as well. Two came and walked straight. Should you continue starving to reach champion rank, you will one day have to battle me. You would be wise to train hard starting now. It will save you from experiencing the bitter regret of defeat. Oh, and do come along to my art class sometime. I would be thrilled to have you attend. I'll pass. So we have a new class available. I was looking at the list of things available through the classes, and I wasn't really impressed. You get, like, Terra Shards and some miscellaneous stuff, but... It's not enough to get me to come back. <laughs> I fear Nimona would be waiting for us out here. Hmm. 
I hear a ringing. I was wondering if it might have been, uh... It was a different sound effect, but it's not one of those gimme ghouls. So in case you're wondering if I had Aerial Ace, I think it's called Aerial Ace, there's a flying special move that we could have had that would have done a bit of a number on Pseudo Wudo had we had the bird use it. So it's a different day when I than I before I did the gym. As a result there should be new loot and stuff to be had. Is that Charkanda? That was a red bird, though. Well, for now. For now, let's battle. Ryan, Ryan the student. That was Ryan at first, but it's not. Send out Diglett. So for Diglett, I'm better off just landing a solid blow, I think. This is a electric type. Let's do a seismic toss and see what happens. Not enough. You jerk! You bite, seriously! So I did shut down the game before fighting the gym leader, and I can't blame this on a memory leak. <laughs> trying to see what it is down there. Dunsparce? I probably said that a few times. It might be the Mastiff. Ice Fang. So that's actually a pretty good pickup. Whoa, 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 no! Oh, well, I'm not going back up there. Moonstone. Since she looks like she has money, we'll take her on. Oops. I 
You're doing the treasure hunt, aren't you? I did it too back in the day. Except we're actually doing it right. There's a difference. Andrea the model. Flabebe. I assume that's like a grass fairy or something. poison move because I'd hit it for quad damage. I'm just... Nope, it's not grass type, maybe. Maybe it's pure fairy? Because I don't think you're allowed to use poison powder on grass. Well, trade one stat effect for the other. I should resist that pretty well. <laughs> Right there is your reminder that Venonat is a physical attacker. Even though he doesn't actually learn his cool physical moves until after evolving. To be young. That rock wall, there was a that Pokemon, incredible, you know what? Laura the artist. Uh she looks more like someone who does graffiti than art. <laughs> Let's try Psybeam and see what happens. Yeah, I'd love to be able to do that. So hands down, tackle's gonna be the way to go. Are you kidding me? So that's one. Two. And we should be guaranteed awake next turn. Poison powder. So keep in mind, I'm the one with compound eyes, just saying. So we don't get bored of gonna spin the camera. Imagine Venonat's gonna be put to sleep right here. Let's pull out the bag. I hate some of these animations. <laughs> so it's three for three, and that moves what's supposed to be sixty percent accurate. It's possible Villian has compound eyes as well.
So I believe this is turn one. Too little, too late. Yep, it's over right here. May have run out of points of struggle bug for all I know. I think losing you has calmed me down. Just want to make sure there's anything hidden behind it. We'll know in a moment if I've been up here before. I think I have. So there's a pretty likely chance there will be no ghoul up here. Although I heard a noise. Yeah. We can take a look at the raid den and then be back on our way. Rare candy, pretty big pickup. Paralyzed heal, someone insignificant. Flying Shuppet. Since this is golden, I'll grab it. Confuse Ray, we now have access to that TM, I think. Unless it was one that you have access to by default. So yeah, I think we beat him before, and I just went off the trail. Have we not gotten this reward yet? Hmm. Shell Bell. get a hard stone somewhere. I'm gonna give Venonat the quick claw. Once I grab the golden Pokeball thing over here, I may just want to fly out because it's possible this flag is on the other side of the entire little continent area. But overall, I'd say the Shell Bill is a pretty good pickup. Helping hand. is a little tempting. Is that the Jigglypuff? I don't know if those are fixed or not, I just don't care. <laughs> a Poison Pichu. the raid I hear, if you're wondering about that sparkly effect. Where is this marker?
See, I'm wondering if I should go for a Bombardier first. I can probably pick off a pair of Titans. Let me change the marker, though. Seeing you around school, you're the new transfer student, aren't you? Yuray the student. Fletchling. So being a fly a flying type and a fire type, this should favor the fletchling. Embers. The new kid's really shaking things up. That's Caps a kid. So over here is where I found the man key. I think my first chart that was somewhere right around here. Those pillars of light. Have you ever seen one of those pillars of light? You can spawn from even far away. A row of the student. Shuppet. So Shuppet is a levitating ghost. I don't know if it evolves or not. And that's it. <laughs> Too bright. Yeah, the watch roll kind of has that going for it. So the thing she was referring to, of course, is... A ghost... All that for a pretty feather. I have enough charcadets as is, so I'm not gonna fight this one. Take a look around and see if there's anything over here that we might be interested in. A man key. Who uses one of those? Seriously. Uh. Rock rock. I'm also a little surprised that doesn't constitute a ground attack, you know. sparkly there. Oh, in case you weren't how you get a hard stone. When goes whoosh. Brilliant kid. You're gonna be a writer or poet someday. Some kind of poet. Every one of the West Province is a lot of wind. Nazan the student. Venonat. 
could have used that either. So those are the electric tadpoles in the background. You see them flying like wind chimes or something. Wow. As far as I didn't finish it. The uh, reason why I point them out is that's the baby form of Iono's signature belly bolt or something like that. No, don't stop my wishing. Dude, you play with poisons. Uh. I'm a little worried to walk through the grass. I may run into something that blends in. Stone. I think those were real easy to find in the DLC areas of Sword and Shield. That's the cricket. Electric uh, mud spray, I think that's called. That way. Hey there. I'm hitchhiking. Can I take a ride in your Pokemon? No, you have to walk, hippie. Backpacker, a seer. Fungus. Poison grass type, I believe. Also, somewhat squishy. Sorry I asked. Okay, I figured there'd be a league rep here, which is why I made sure to fight the guys on the way. <laughs> Clearly, there's no one here. Kind of makes you wonder if these guys are out here doing community service or something this far away from all the people they pose a threat to. Food for thought. I wanted to send Watcher out, but it didn't go. See, I think I'm going to put the break in here and we pick up next time. We'll make our way to the Titan and uh, hopefully take care of it. Uh, poor Watcher. I thought I just heard a gimme ghoul. So, yeah, I'll look around for it after this, and uh, when we pick up next time, we'll be trying to make our way over to the Titan, as I said. I'm the Hero of Light, thanks for watching, and good night.